Greetings, this is Dr. T, and I'm here today to speak with you briefly about expressing an equation for a line in the point-slope form. And when you have a point on the line and you have the slope of the line, it's quite easy to actually express the line in point-slope form. So as I said, you will need uh, the slope of the line, and you'll also need a coordinate pair on the line. And it could be any point on the line, uh, so it's quite easy to, to work this one out. So we have a slope of M. We have a point X1, uh, Y1. And the point slope form is simply Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. And that is the form for the point slope equation for a line. So why don't you try to determine the point slope form linear equation for a line that has a slope of 4 and that passes through the point 2, 1. Now remember to use the equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we get m equals 4. Uh, the point itself was 2, 1. And you can see I brought down the blue 2 and plugged it into the spot reserved for the x sub 1. And I brought down the red 1 and plugged it in for the uh, red y sub 1. And so our equation is y minus 1 equals 4 times x minus 2. So a second problem would be for you to determine the slope of, uh, I'm sorry, to determine the point slope form of a line, equation for a line that has a slope of 2 and that passes through the point 8, 3. Once again, we're going to use the same form uh, we have in the past, and we see our slope was 2, our point was 8, 3. I have brought the 8 down into the x1 slot. The 2 replaces the m, and the 3 replaces the y sub 1 and we get y minus 3 equals 2 times x minus 8. Now, what can we do if we have two points on the line but we don't have the slope? Well, the first thing we need to do is use the equation for slope, plug in our uh, pair of our two, our two coordinates, and determine the slope. And then we can use that slope and one of the points to determine the sl point slope form. So it, remember, our equation for slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The points here are 3, 9, and 8, negative 11. We get negative 11 minus 9 over 8 minus 3 equals negative 20 over 5. When we reduce, we have a slope of negative 4. So now we can take either one of those coordinate pairs and use it to determine the point-slope form equation for the line. Our slope is negative 4, and you can pick either one of those coordinates. I chose the 3 and the 9, and so I have a coordinate uh, point slope form of y minus 9, and you can see where I brought the red 9 down and replaced the uh, y sub 1, uh, equals 4 times x uh, minus 3, and I replaced the x1 with the 3. I hope this helps you understand a little more about point-slope form of a linear equation. Happy working algebra.